One dead as bandits prevent aircraft from taking off at Kaduna Airport. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. This is even as the bandits prevented an Asman aircraft scheduled for Lagos to take off from Kaduna Airport. A staff of the Nigerian Airspace Management Authority was on Saturday shot dead as bandits invaded Kaduna Airport. According to reports, the NAMA staff was shot dead around the runway off area of the airport. This is even as the bandits prevented an AZ man, AZ man aircraft scheduled for Lagos from takeoff from Kaduna Airport. It was glad that the Azman aircraft could not take off at 12.30 p.m. because of the presence of the bandit by the runway of the airport. As I speak to you now, there is already military presence to beef up security. The most of the staff were scared with the killing of Anama staff. A staff of the airport was quoted at saying. This comes a few days after 50, 50 persons were killed while an unspecified number of persons were abducted when the bandits attacked nine communities in the Giwa local government area. Of Kaduna State. It seems like these bandits have actually shifted the location from Bronu to Kaduna. And they want investors to come and invest in Nigeria with this level of insecurity. Well, only ISIS will invest in Nigeria. Our government will work on them and even treat them well if they are arrested. Sadly, that is the case. There is actually one particular article I, I saw about where you know, people are complaining that people are not coming to invest in Nigeria. And I'm saying, what will give them, how will it, what will give them that impression to come and, to come and invest? There is crisis in Nigeria. There is no part of Nigeria as of now that insecurity has not crawled into. The southwest, you're hearing of bandits and hatsmen. The north, the, you're hearing of Boko Haram, Iswap and hatsmen. The southeast, you're hearing of Max, not Max, I mean, maxed men or non-gunmen or gunmen. And the South-South, we don't know about that. Even in some areas in the South-South, the headers, the headsmen are there causing crisis. So which place can you say, oh, this particular region is actually completely safe? None. So it has come to this level where terrorists have decided to take war to them. But if our government fails to do something now, let them get ready to vacate or surrender to them because they are coming now. What I'm going to say is what I've always been saying. Now I'm asking, the government will come out tomorrow and say, oh, we heard about the incident that happened at the Kaduna airport. The situation is now under control. We are doing our best. But please, do not retaliate. Let me say this. There will be a time where you see even the president, <laughs> when he finishes, he said he's retiring to Castilla State. If he finishes and retires, there will be problems waiting for him there. Ah... If these northerners, they get to their breaking points where, you know what, they don't care anymore, it is not going to be nice. In fact, it is going to be catastrophic. Have Nigerians ever paused and wondered over who imported those bloody test bandits into Nigeria? Why have the powers that be never bothered to return them to their home countries? Why is it that they, by the fact that they have seized some Nigerian territories and are collecting taxes from people, ammo tanks are never rolled out on them? Every day they make the handler with shedding of citizens' blood, yet no military invasion of their terrorists. Do the products of this bandit not deserve persecution and conviction for a treasonable offense against their fatherland? Yet they are working free and still deciding the fate of Nigerians. Killing of citizens with impunity has indeed become a national norm. So sad. So sad. Yes, so sad. Last year, early last year, the presidency, or will I say the administration, this presidency came out and said that they had the list of finances. To date, nothing has been done about them. Nothing has been done. The only thing they know how to do is to express shock, to come out and say, oh, um, uh, they are expressing shock to come out and say they, con they send their condolences and they are very sorry and say people should be patient with them. Is it when they finish killing everyone? Is it when, God forbid, they finish killing everyone and they finish slaughtering everyone? Hmm. Meanwhile, 
Nigeria gives utmost attention to matters that are not even supposed to be matters. They give their priority. They organize their scale of pristine preference in a very shabby manner. That they put the very least important issues on top and put the very, very important issues underneath. As long as they're not disturbing and killing the poor masses flying Kaduna to Abuja, Express, I don't care. Let the rich also feel the heat. Maybe by then they will take actions on the incessant um, killings. This is just so bad. So it has gotten to this. Our leaders are gradually losing control of this country. They are not gradually losing control. They have lost control of the country. The government has the capacity to extradite Nam the Kano from Kenya, but cannot protect an international airport from bandits. God is indeed watching. God is watching. Okay, what a shame. Security agencies are dancing with political office orders at the Eagle Square. Why bandits operate smoothly at the international airport? What Buhari-led administration cannot destroy does not exist. It is very sad. Tomorrow, if these people take off arms now, you will see the security agencies, you know, that is when they will sling, swing into action. That is when their blood will start boiling. Their blood will not boil now, now that they are killing innocent civilians. Their blood will not boil. Nigeria is not doomed. It is the leaders who are doomed. For them to continue to live like these demigods is the main reason this nation is quackery. If bandits and terrorists truly are truly reasonable, they should have confronted the wickedness thriving upon the masses, but instead they are killing innocent the souls for nothing. Exactly. And you know what, what is painful to me is that these so-called bandits, they still attack poor people. Yes, had it been they have attacked people who are anyway, but who am I to say this? Who am I to say this? Because the same people that are in government are, the, are likely the same people they are working for. Buhari and his think alike alike say the North is very peaceful. They say the South, East and West is the model of insecurity. This week alone, multiple bomb explosions with thousands killed in the North. They are faced with humongous security problems. Hmm. We have people from the North who have been following news on this platform. Come out and say something about this matter. You said you love Nigeria and this country belongs to you. Or you tell us what is happening in Karuna Airport. This is sad. This is really, really sad. It's not, look... And the thing, the thing that they don't understand is such news, eh, they keep making us, they keep belittling us in the eyes of the world. They keep belittling us. If we cannot handle just mere, just mere, mere Boko Haram as an internal crisis, how much more? How much more? How are, they, how are we going to gain the trust? Since they are, as in, we are allowing this to happen to our own people. You see, when they now come to invest in us, that at the end of the day, we are not going to do something about it. This is one of the things that is keeping us down. As a